Unity in the Storm, written by Brother Justin Severson and narrated by Brother Rich Nath. There has been much exhortation regarding unity. The polar opposite, division, is what the opposition is engaged in. Recently, the General Church set aside a week of fasting and prayer, and one of the items prayed for was God's gift of unity and love to be upon the Church in great measure. When all members of a group or organization assemble as a cohesive force, the product of unity benefits the group. The definition of synergy is, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Hence, working together is a good strategy. The Church of Jesus Christ desires to epitomize the body of Christ. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. 1 Corinthians 12.12 12. This is the assembly in order to accomplish God's will. Recently, I watched a TV series, and in one particular episode, the sensei who was teaching a martial arts class gave each student an egg and told them to protect it, as he was going to try to break each student's egg. All the students scattered to a separate space and awaited the sensei to come to each individual, and all incurred a broken egg. He then distributed another egg and strongly reprimanded them that they should work together, not as individuals. In this case, the class fended off the sensei and protected all the eggs. In the Book of Mormon, the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi were being strongly persecuted by the Lamanites. In order to protect them, they were gathered and brought to the city of Jershon, which was then fortified and protected by the Nephites, a work of unity. Hurricane Ian, which devastated much of southwest Florida, impacted the Cape Coral Branch. The storm surge left the building with an inch of water throughout. Combined with no power, this would have soon inundated the interior with mold and mildew. The members were much overwhelmed as their own homes were impacted and the city was in shambles, creating a very discouraging environment. Fortunately, the Southeast Region trustees assembled an action plan, which first was to visit the branch, bringing supplies and reporting the damage back to the general church and region trustees. This visit was an impetus to the needed restoration. A work party was then assembled to remove all 5,000 square feet of carpet. Many of the members arrived the following day to begin the process of restoring the Cape Coral branch. After a prayer was offered to inaugurate the event, a whirlwind of activity, accompanied by the spirit of unity, quickly removed a tonnage of wet carpet. This effort was 100% seasoned by God's blessing, as a few from outside the church arrived to assist with this effort. During the work party, members from within the region called to inquire as to how they could assist, resulting in additional work parties to be organized to mitigate the water intrusion. Members from the Treasure Coast and Forest Hills branches offered manpower, which was a wonderful encouragement to the members who had just endured a horrific and paralyzing storm. Peter writes, Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. 1 Peter 3.8 In conclusion, please know that when we assemble in the name of Jesus Christ, with the mindset of, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, a super synergy event occurs. For if God is for you, then no one can be against you, and a testimony is made for the entire church to benefit. Editor's Note If you would like to make a donation to the Church Hurricane Relief Fund, go to the General Church website, with a link below in the description, and click on the new banner titled Hurricane Relief Donations. You can give a donation through PayPal, or with your credit card or debit card.